Love God, love people, be his hands and feet. Those who are in need, be a light out in the street. very short. It's Ephesians 1 7. For the blood of Christ we are set free. That is, our sins are forgiven. How great is the grace of God. That right there is to be thankful for. That alone. Aren't you thankful for the grace of God to forgive your sins? That's all you got to tell us on the 20th, if nothing else. I'm thankful for the grace of God that has forgiven my sins.
To forgive yourself. Power to forgive yourself. It's okay to forgive yourself. Amen? Think about this. Where do you get the grace to forgive someone who has hurt you? And you're trying to figure out, okay, I forgive this person because they said this about me or they did me a wrong way. I forgive them instantly. But can't use that same power for yourself. Why are you condemning yourself? Why are you living in the past using past torment, past issues, past anger, past anything in the past to judge your life today? If you be in Christ, you are a new creature. 
Old things have passed away. All things have become new. So now if I'm a new creature in Christ, I have to do, live my life now by faith. Right? Now, the same faith that I have to use to forgive others, I have to use that faith to forgive myself. Amen? Forgiving yourself is essential. Sometimes there is a tendency in all of us to hold ourselves more accountable to others than we do our own selves. We look at our Heavenly Father, for our example, we see in Acts 10.34, Peter says unto him, says to them, in truth I perceive that God shows us no partiality or no respecter of persons. He doesn't choose one person and choose not to forgive another. He doesn't do that. If we believe in his son Jesus Christ, then we are forgiven. Jesus has paid the price on us on Calvary to be forgiven for everything we've done, about to do, or will do. You are forgiven. Amen? It's important to forgive yourself. If God has, is forgiving you, you should forgive you. Amen? Forgiving yourself is not just about forgetting. It's about not being, using the offense, the negative offense that you have against yourself, against yourself over and over again. Why are you repeating that cycle? We have to pause on that cycle. We have to stop that cycle. We have to love ourselves enough to say, you know what, I want to move in the things of God. I'm blocking things because of my past. We can't move forward in things of God in our past because God isn't there. He's forward. Amen? Let's move on with God. Like I said, if God has moved on, we should do the same. Philippians 4 and 9 states that we are to wear, we are to put on and to put into practice those things we have learned from God and from his word. What does his word say about us? His word says we're the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. So with that, I can forgive myself. If I made a mistake, I can forgive myself and look, you know, I'm not where I used to be, but I am moving forward. It also tells us that in Philippians 4 and 8, to dwell on whatever things are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. The good report. That's the thing I'm going to forgive myself with. I'm going to forgive myself with the good report. The Bible is my source for the good report. And I'm going to use that good report to forgive myself. Because guess what? God is using that same report to forgive me. So what kind of action can I take to forgive myself? Please note that it takes energy to harbor anger and resentment towards yourself. What are you holding on to? We're gonna let some things go tonight, amen? We're gonna let some things go tonight. We're gonna let some things go tonight and we're gonna forgive ourselves tonight, amen? Please know that the enemy the only way he can effectively lose anything against you is through ignorance. Okay? And all ignorance is is the lack of not, not knowing a thing. Yes, I am ignorant to how to fly an airplane. I don't know how to do that. But I'm not ignorant to the wiles of the devil. I know his MO to steal, kill, and destroy. I'm not ignorant. I know, I know what he wants to do. Amen? And I want to use the things of God to give me knowledge. My people perish, why? For the lack of knowledge. What knowledge do I need to obtain to forgive myself? I have to study and show myself approved. Proverbs 16, 25 says, there's a way that seems right to a man, but to his end is the way of death. Every bit of energy we give to negative activities and dwellings or regret rob us from, from the energy we need to become the person God wants us to be. God wants to make something with you. He wants you to be an example. You have a light inside of you that needs to shine. And that light needs to shine first internally for yourself by forgiving yourself. 
let's let it go tonight. Let's not carry whatever it is. And only you know what that is. Right. If you are being honest and transparent enough with yourself, like, you know what, I need to let that go because the time you think you have, you really don't have. Amen. You really, you just don't. So let's get it right with yourself tonight. Because once I get it right with myself, I can do more for others. If I get it right with myself, I can get it right with others. Forgiveness is a choice that takes courage. So I'm challenging you tonight. Let's be strong tonight. Let's show some courage tonight and say, you know what? There's an opportunity here for me to lay some things down. And you know what? I'm not going to keep condemning myself over the things that I need to lay down. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to forgive myself. Now, I'm not going to repeat the same thing. It's funny. We've all heard this, right? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. I did a little research on that. That's not even a true statement. <laughs> Einstein never said it. Benjamin Franklin never said it. But it's just keep being repeated over and over as if it's something that should be said. It's just a nice cliche that gets said over and over again. Because it sounds good. But let's not repeat it. Let's not go on tonight repeating the same things toward ourselves, saying that, you know what, I, I can't move forward because. Let's take the excuse out tonight and say, you know what, I'm going to forgive myself because of this, but I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to move forward with yeah. God. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Forgiving yourself, like I said, is a choice, and it takes courage and strength. It gives you an opportunity to be, to come an over overcomer. Rather remain a victim to your own scorn. Think about that. Your own scorn. Something that you're doing to yourself. Let's stop that tonight. And let's forgive ourselves. I read somewhere it says hurting people hurt others. If you can't... Thank you. The longer we avoid forgiving ourselves we harbor feelings that make us explosive and it, it, it makes our attitudes it makes us angry people as long as we keep this anger and resentment in ourselves and then we can't then, then we, we just pop off at people and we're explosive and we're mad and we're angry because we haven't forgiven ourselves but think about it the very person that did you wrong it's funny how you can, like I said, you can, you, you can forgive them quickly, but hold in things to yourself that paralyze you. Let's move forward tonight. When we choose to forgive, we invest our time and our compassion and healing can begin for us. When we choose to invest our time and our efforts to say, you know what, I'm bettering myself, I'm changing. I have to make this change. I can't go on the same way. I have to let this go. Yes, it did hurt. It did hurt me, but I have to move on because God has a bigger plan for me. And I want to get into the things of God. I want to know, I want to fulfill my destiny. I want to do what he put me on this earth to do. And I'm going to do forgive myself there's a song that says learn from your past mistakes and move forward let go of your yesterday let it go it's okay to let it go I want to change myself so I can be better to my wife I want to be a better person so I can be a better citizen here for now while I'm here and make a change in the community and whatever adjustments that I need to make I'm going to make because I'm going to forgive myself today I'm going to challenge myself today I'm going to take the courage to say yeah I don't have it all together but I'm willing to work on it and I'm willing to begin to forgive myself prior to meeting my wife I was very introverted I was, I didn't think I was ever worthy of anything. I didn't think I was ever gonna amount to anything because of some things some people told me 
as I was growing up. But then I started to use those words against myself and beat myself up with those words. And then one day I came to realize, I can't continue to do this because I'm not happy. I just want to be a happier person. I just want to move on with my life. And you know what? I'm not who those people say I, I am. I'm finding out I'm different. I'm finding out that greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. That I have the power inside of me to change my circumstance, my dead circumstances. I can use the resurrecting power inside of me and change my world. But I had to start forgiving myself. I had to let that stuff go. I had to start forgiving myself. I tell myself, on a daily basis that I declare and decree that I choose this day that my conscience is purged from dead works and I am forgiven so I will forgive myself and I will not be tormented by my past errors and I thank you Heavenly Father that I have the grace to forgive myself and others I have to do this by grace I can't do this on my own I need the power I need the strength I need the encouragement from God to help me to forgive myself. Because if I could do it on my own, I would have done it already. But I can't. And this is a continual thing. It's a daily thing. It's something I have to do over and over again. Romans 8 and 1 says, there is therefore no condemnation who are in Christ Jesus. Romans 8 31 tells us that, what then should we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? God is for me. God is for you. He's for you. He's not mad at you. He's not angry at you. He loved you. He loved you so much he sent his son Jesus Christ for you. Amen? First Peter 5 and 7 says to cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Your anxiety, your fear. What is it that you want to cast over onto the Lord tonight? It's time to move forward in the things of God. Forgiveness is not, again, remember this. The most important thing you can do is not beat yourself up with something that isn't true about yourself. You don't have to do that. I want to know what's in this book right here. What does God say about me? He says, I'm healed. He cares about my overall total prosperity, every area of my life. Nothing broken, nothing missing. He cares about me. He loves me. He's not angry at me. And he has so much more that he wants to show. He wants to show himself strong in me. And I want to be used by him. But if I can't, I, but if I'm condemning myself, if, I, if, if, I, if I'm I'm, I'm angry at myself, if I'm, if, if I'm a bitter person and I'm at myself, why? Why am I so mad at myself? Why can't I let it go? I just want to let some things go. And I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. You're carrying, you're holding on things that you're not built to carry. Jesus bought it all for us. He carried it for us. He paid off the debt for us. We can be free in him. We can love ourselves. We can love other people. We can move on in the things of God because he is our example. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. At that time on the cross, he had the capacity to forgive. I just want to be more like him. I want to learn more about him. I need that power. I need that grace to forgive others and myself. The more we focus on the things of God, we can have our 
outside world correctly, we focus on our inside thing. Our lives now, when we live in Christ, are lived now from the inside out, not from the outside in. We live our life from the inside out. The Holy Spirit is our guide and our teacher, our mentor. He will show us how to live our lives now and how we can start forgiving ourselves. Amen? Is there anyone tonight who needs forgiveness? Does anyone tonight who wants to be forgiven? Does anyone want prayer tonight that needs to be forgiven for something so you can let it go? So you can let it go tonight and not have to move forward with it tomorrow or another hour. Right now, we can settle this right now. We can settle this right now. Let's settle some things up tonight. Because like I said, again, the time you think you have, you really don't have. 